Hello and welcome uh, to the live training for today. My name is Joe Trahan. I'm joined with Chris Rice with Atlantic Bay Mortgage Group. Hey, Chris, how's it going? Good. How are you? Doing all right. Thank you so much for chatting with us today for the uh, members of the Discover Virginia Beach Facebook group, the idea of buying a home. So as I mentioned in all of the posts, this is not a sales pitch whatsoever. This is mainly an informational session about breaking down the specific steps we look for as a realtor and a relocation expert. And as Chris's uh, very long list of accolades that he can definitely get into if he'd like as the number one uh, Hampton Roads mortgage lender. But yeah, Chris, thanks so much for your time. Thanks for being here. Yeah, thank you. No, yeah, this is great. I'm excited. Yeah, so uh, real quick, I kind of want to tee up this call by just sharing with you all that th this is an idea. This is kind of like, uh, consider this as a brainstorming session to really put the pieces together on what this journey looks like for you or for somebody looking to discover what the Virginia Beach has to offer. Now, typically we look at the stable economy as one of the biggest indicators of why people like to move here. We have a very vibrant healthcare service. So for our old, uh, our elderly uh, community members and for our community members that I would, you know, typically refer to as those having their second career, their second life, uh, you know, th there's a vibrant healthcare service that just really covers uh, that. That way you can stay up and move in and, and keep going. And then of course we do have 10 unique beach experiences uh, which I cover in my Ultimate Virginia Beach Vibe Guidebook. So if you're interested in that, comment Vibe in the in the comments below. I'll make sure and send you a copy. Um, and then, of course, Chris, as I'm sure you can attest to, so many delicious restaurants. Chris, any and off the cuff here, any any of your favorite restaurants you want to shout out right now? I'm sure there are, there are dozens of them, them, but maybe you can pick one. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, you know me. I, I love my bros fish tacos. <laughs> over off uh, Linhaven, so absolutely, yeah, I, I go there as much as I possibly can, just about. So, yeah. rose fish taco, great, absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, Chris, thanks for sharing that. Definitely go check out Roche Fish Tacos as you are planning your summer vacation, or if you're a local here and you just really want to figure out where to find some really awesome tacos. And with that said, um, you know, just want to lead into this first uh, segment here and emphasizing that this is a journey. Buying a home is, as Chris says, not like just buying a pack of gum. It's actually a process that generally takes a few months, if not longer, just to really figure out, you know, what an area, a home, a community has to offer you as an individual. So I just wanted to offer that perspective to you all. And um, of course, Chris is going to share some really great insights uh, and I know you guys hear me talk uh, week in and week out on the Facebook group doing live streams, but Chris, uh, I would love to know from you, and, and if you wouldn't mind sharing, what's uh, what, what's one piece of business info and one piece of personal info uh, we can get to hear from you, just so we get to know you a little bit better? Yeah, so, you know, business-wise, um, you know, let's see, I started this journey in the mortgage industry and real estate, uh, what, in 2005? So seeing the highs and the lows um, in the real estate world, uh, love it. You know, that's why I'm still here, still doing it. Um, and then personally, um, I've lived in Virginia Beach my whole life, you know, so uh, outside of going away for college or, you know, in that, but besides that, I've lived in, literally in Virginia Beach my entire life, love the city, love the area. Um, you know, it's just a phenomenal place. I've got two kids, wife and you know, we can't imagine living anywhere else. So wonderful. Well, Chris, thank you for sharing that. Uh, be sure to, you know, on, on Facebook, go ahead and follow Chris. It's just Chris Rice. Uh, definitely, uh, as I was teeing up this call, letting people know about the live stream, I'm like, I'm a very animated, uh, sometimes I was a bit of a pushy salesman and Chris is like the exact opposite, He's super Zen, super mellow, and just a very friendly guy. So, uh, yeah, definitely. As you're watching this video, if questions come up, let me know in the comments below. And if you're watching the recorded version and for some reason you're like, Joe, something was said, and I don't really quite understand it. You can email me directly at Joe at relocating to Virginia.com. That's Joe at relocating to Virginia.com. And if it's a mortgage related question or just a home buying question in general, I'll be sure to loop Chris in that and definitely we can get that question answered for you. So with that said, um, Chris, 
we just we just bought a house with you, man. So let's let's start there. So uh, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, if you haven't been keeping up with the live streams, that's totally fine. But uh, my wife and I actually just bought our our second home. Uh, we're using our first home as an investment property, and Chris helped us navigate that through what the mainstream media would refer to as one of the harshest real estate. Uh, you know, con conditions in the in the marketplace here in 2023. Yeah. Chris, would you mind kind of uh, shedding some light on on that process as far as you know what that looked like for you on your end, and uh, love to share how how that worked for me as well. Yeah, so I mean, you know, going through that process with you was a lot of fun. Um, you know, but like you said earlier or alluded to earlier, um, you know, I you know you're not buying a pack of gum here this is, or, or a set of batteries, right? Like this is, you know, the, uh, it's a process. You have to know, like, trust the people you're working with. Um, and I mean, I think it went pretty smoothly. I, I really enjoyed working with you. I, I was excited for you and, and your wife and everything else. I think it was great. Um, the process went really well. I mean, his wife was great, uh, but <laughs> you know, the, that that buyer he could be a pain no he yeah, was you yeah. guys were fantastic you know, to work with you got your so. lender's phone number and and your lender works on the weekends which is a huge plus by the way you know because a lot of stuff happens over the weekends I, I just remember like probably one of the biggest things for me was like when we were searching for homes like I called you that Tuesday night and it was the house that we were looking at. We we toured it at night, which is super fun to do because a lot of people ask me, well, Joe, is, is a neighborhood safe? Like, And I, I can never honestly answer that question because safety is such a fluid term. So I always just offer a suggestion of, you know, the perspective crime has no zip code. Uh, does that mean I could make any excuse I want to sell you any house anywhere? No, absolutely not. It has to be something that you're comfortable with. So I always recommend one, you talk with the neighbors, which is what we did the day before. And the second thing we did that night is we tore the house at night. We rolled down the windows, we drove real slow, five, 10 miles, and we just went up and down the streets just to see and listen to what was going on in that community. So, of course, we loved it. It was quiet. We could hear the birds and all the different uh, by the water. So that was very peaceful. So I remember called Chris on Saturday, uh, Tuesday evening, and, you know, this is bedtime like our, our kiddos in bed and, and Chris is you know he's like I'll, I'll call you back shortly I'm putting the girls to bed so it was one of those really cool experiences where you know regardless of like the the national the natural nine to five window that you typically see um you know because it is a journey it kind of sometimes pushes out of those barriers um so that was really cool for Chris to be available to talk to me because you know we did put in an offer that next morning we wanted to go over the numbers and of course as I'm sure most of you guys know, interest rates change daily. Well, not on the weekends, but Monday through Friday. So definitely wanted to get a good deal on that. So uh, yeah, that that was just really cool. I just wanted to mention that, Chris, because that was that meant a lot to us. I'm glad to hear it. I mean, you know, like you said, a lot of things happen outside of normal business hours, especially when it comes to real estate. I mean, like, think about it. You know, if you're dealing with somebody that works a normal nine to five job, well, most of the time you're going to have to show them a home at six o'clock or six thirty, or yeah you know something yeah. like that or on a weekend and and you know so i can't work from nine to five and be like no call me tomorrow during business hours <laughs> like that's just not going to work right so yeah, yeah. absolutely and uh, i will i will mention so uh one of the really cool things about um you know working with chris and myself i'm going to share my screen here real quick with you guys is we have a free resource that we're going to make available to you all at the end of this video uh, as you can see we have lots of guides here uh i'm going to reference this one here and um this is one of the main chris can you see my screen okay i just want to make sure i'm not have any any other tabs open? Yep. So this is the uh, no, I got it. Relocation guide. Uh, so this is going to highlight. Uh, I can highlight any city here within the Virginia Beach area. So if you're looking in Virginia Beach area and, and you're maybe deterred by the price point or the timing of it all, there's actually six other cities we can pick from, and I can create a personalized guide for you that I'd love to send a copy. Just comment relocation or send me an email uh, with the word relocation. No questions asked. Love to send this to you. It goes over the uh, typical trends that we see here in the marketplace, which are crucial, crucial when you're figuring out 
how to buy or plan to buy a home within the next six to 18 months, because we're able to look at not only the lagging indicators, what's happened over the past six months, but also the leading indicators as well, just to keep up with what is happening currently in the marketplace. So without boring you too much uh, on all of these fancy graphs and charts, I will point out one more thing, and that's going to be the economic stats and charts. Uh, so letting you guys know that the uh, one of the main industries here is our military and our healthcare industry, followed by sales and construction. So those are the three or uh, four main industries here um, that really fuel the economy and helps give us lots of stability. So if you'd like a copy of that, go ahead and comment relocation or send me an email and I'll be happy to send that your way. So with that said, Chris, let's uh, let's talk real estate, shall we? What, let's do in it. your opinion, is the current state of the real estate market? If we were to take a picture of the real estate market today in uh, April of 2023, what would that look like for you? Well, I mean, it's still a strong market. Um, there's a ton of demand, um, but that, I mean, that, that also means it's a good time to be out there buying. You know, the thing I always talk about is if you're renting, and now is the time to buy. It doesn't matter what time, you know, where we are in the market or anything like that. Owning your home is the biggest way to build wealth than any other thing you can do, just about, you know. So buying that home is super important. Um, and in Virginia Beach, the great thing, like you kind of already alluded to there, is being in this area with the military and the medical fields being so prevalent, yeah. we generally don't have to worry. But we're a little more insulated from any of the economic issues that may hit or may not, right? Um, because we have su such a heavy military basis here of, of living, right? So it's like, it, it's just a great place to live. It's a great market real estate wise. Interest rates are do doing their thing. They're starting to come down, which is fantastic. Um, as we start to see recession get handled, you're going to start to see those rates really start to come down. So it's it's a great time. Absolutely. And Chris, I appreciate that summary. And I would completely agree with you as well. As far as the state of the market, it's still a really good time to buy because there is consistent inventory coming available. Now, mm -hmm. flying off the shelves still, it feels like when you, I was working with uh, two buyers this past weekend, it seemed almost every house we were looking at and writing offers on had multiple offers in play. So, you know, as, as far as the specifics of, you know, how to write an offer, we can, you know, talk about that another time. But right now, it seems like it's a pretty consistent market, which is what Hampton Roads and Virginia Beach area has always been. So that's, that's encouraging as well. Um, Chris, what would you say are like, maybe like one or two, like really big pieces of advice on how to find the right home for your needs? And that could be looking at your budget, looking at your lifestyle. What are your what are your top two, uh, one or two tips for us? Well, I mean, you know, first, you know, from a mortgage, you know, you're talking to a mortgage guy, right? So <laughs> I'm going to think of the very first thing, right, is, is budget. I have an idea of your budget, what you're willing to spend on a monthly basis for your mortgage payment, right? That's one of the top question or one of the last questions I always ask at the end of every application is, okay, what's the max you're comfortable spending on a monthly basis for your mortgage payment? Um, not to say we have to go up that high, but it just helps us figure it out, right? Where, where is that limit? Um, beyond that, you know, it's, you know, you gotta find a good team of people behind you, um, somebody you know and trust and like, and are willing to deal with for, you know, like you said, this is a process that's going to take oh, yeah, a, the a minimum 30 <laughs> yeah. days, yeah. right? Right. And, and, you know, if, if you, if you're not sure about your real estate agent, that you're going to be able to spend, you know, time looking at homes with them, well, you know, yeah, or you don't feel comfortable with them. Like you don't know if they're looking out for you or not. Like you need to find somebody that you're comfortable with right? On the real estate side, mortgage side, and then this is something people don't always think about as well as on your title side, right? Uh, right the people right. Yeah. Um, 
but yeah, you need a good team of people because you're going to be dealing with these people throughout that process. So, right. Yeah, absolutely. That That's a really good tip as well, because you want to have consistency in the process. Um, and I'd like to share one other resource I have, which is, is which will be included in the relocation guide. Um, and that's a process Chris and I have worked with a few clients on, and that's discovering your Virginia Beach lifestyle. And we essentially have broken up the transaction into nine super succinct, super like just really streamlined processes where we focus on the three steps of discovering what community you feel most comfortable in, whether that's the price point, as Chris alluded to, that, that comes with the, the zip code, the security and the safety, and also just do you want to live near the ocean? Do you want to live near the city? Do you want to be in a midpoint? Do you want to be close to your family? And really leading us into the second stage, which is defining what those terms look like. And once that six to 18 month window has happened and you've really dug deep into those specifics, we challenge you to go out and do it. Give us a call. Let us, let us uh, you know, get you pre-qualified and, and see and go out and look at some houses to see if what your plan is, is something that we could uh, be able to be of service to you. So that is uh, a high level overview. This will be in the relocation guide as well. Um, but just wanted to mention that as well, Chris, we like our systems because yep. there's a lot of things we can't control in the real estate transaction because we're dealing with a seller. We're dealing with a seller's title company, a seller's agent and a seller's lender. Um, so that's why it's so important to have that right team on your side, because we want to control everything we can throughout the process in a very and good system. Yep. Sorry, I was just going to jump in and I would suggest, you know, you kind of talked about this in there is definitely go check out the different areas of Virginia Beach. I mean, it sounds funny to say, but I mean, every kind of area feels a lot different, you know, like you got Shore Drive, Oceanfront, Town Center, you know, even out to Red Mill, Pungo, stuff like that. It, all of them feel very different <laughs> to some extent, you know, and it which is really cool to get all of that in one city. Absolutely. Absolutely. And while you were saying that, it reminded me of the other resource I have uh, that I'll go ahead and point out right now, which will be included. Yeah, you guessed it in the relocation guide. Um, and that's going to be the Virginia Beach neighborhood. Um, so fortunately, um, Virginia Beach is, as most cities, very uh, specific on drawing maps and coding because we are in a flood zone area for when you get closer to the waterways. So uh, this guide here actually breaks up all of the major neighborhoods in Virginia Beach already for you. So for example, as Chris alluded to, uh, at the very top in the middle, it's called Chesapeake Beach. That's one of the 10 beaches here in Virginia Beach where you can actually purchase a condo without condo fees and get access to the beach on Shore Drive. It's one of the most locally feeling uh, locally locally uh, feel of all the beach areas. And then of course, on the right-hand side, you have the iconic ocean front uh, near the uh, what's called labeled as the Hollies or Linkhorn Park. Right behind that's Bay Colony, some of the most luxurious waterfront properties in all Virginia Beach area. I could go on and on. There's over 76 of these. <laughs> but if you want your copy and to break them down or you need you know, specifics on any of those areas, we'd love to help you out with that um, should questions arise. So with that said, we would love to jump in uh, this next part of you know, going over some, some hot topic questions, some what people refer to as controversial questions, because you know, if we call ourselves professionals, but we don't talk about the hot topic issues, are we, are we, are we really willing and able to help you? So, uh, Chris, I have some hot topic questions for you, sir. Are you ready? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. All, right. <laughs> All right. Some of these may be barred as, uh, you know, confrontational, wh whatever you want to label it as, but these are questions that I hear day in and day out. And it's just so important to address these. So first and foremost, <clears throat> softball one for you. Discuss the differences between buying a condo and buying a single family home. Is one really better than the other? And if so, where can you save the most amount of money? Um, I wouldn't say one is better than the other. I mean, I'll take the true politician route here, right? <laughs> sure. And not take a stance either way. Um, but no, I mean, realistically, one isn't better than the other. It, it 
is dependent on what you're looking for, what your needs are, right? Um, if you need big space, then yeah, probably a condo isn't the way to go. You know, right. you probably need a single family home. Um, if you're older or just don't want to deal with a, a ton of yard work, well, then condo probably makes a ton of sense for you. You know, right. yeah. Um, if you don't want to, if you want to have access to a pool, but you don't want to have a pool <laughs> yourself right. and maintain a pool and stuff, a condo is a fantastic uh, opportunity to have access to a pool. The funny thing is, a lot of condo people. A lot of people that live in condos barely even go to the pool that they have. So it's almost right. like having your very own pool. You know, I lived down at the oceanfront for a few years and in a condo and the condo had a pool. And I think my wife and I were like the only ones that ever went to this pool. <laughs> it was great. That's so that's so funny. You kind of notice that when you stay at hotels too, not, mm. not Virginia Beach oceanfront hotels during the right. summer, mind you, but you typically go to a hotel and they have an indoor pool and it's like, nobody, nobody goes to it. So right. that's an interesting, that's an interesting pro tip. Uh, I, I think, I think that might persuade me. Cause I, I would have to say, if I'm looking at a single family home in a condo, it really boils down to your lifestyle. Like yeah. you, if, do you have a pet that needs a yard? Then you probably want to go single family. Um, are you looking to have most of your insurance and kind of like cost of maintenance and upkeep performed on your end? or on the condo association associations end. Cause I read those condo docs. It's like a hundred page Bible of all their rules and all the, you can't paint your house certain colors, but in that there's some value, right. Of mm -hmm. figuring out exactly what the condo will cover. If you are in a flood zone area, for example, near the ocean front or on the ocean front, I know the ones at Chesapeake beach are right there. And so it's kind of a, a no brainer to, you know, have a, you know, a set condo fee a month, you know, rolled into your, uh, what, what does it remind me, Chris? Cause I don't want to jump on the side of the limit. So, so it gets, you know, when, when you have a condo fee, we have to count it towards uh, as part of your housing payment, right? Which then gets, we use to then calculate your debt to income ratio. So we have to count those condo fees into your debt to income ratio. But as you mentioned, they cover things like water, trash pickup a lot of times. Um, and then they cover insurance, you know, whether that's, you know, the out exterior coverage of the, uh, of the condos and the units, as well as, you know, flood insurance if it's required, things of that nature. So your home, your condo insurance policy individually would be less expensive than it would be if you bought a $300,000 single family home because your, your individual policy is only covering the walls in, right? Your contents. Right. I mean, right. you could probably get Brandon in here and he could explain it a lot better than I could, but. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Brandon is a great resource. We have, we, we know a wonderful flood insurance representative uh, when the time comes. Um, but yeah, Chris, moving on to our second controversial question or hot topic question is, if, if somebody uh, is moving to Virginia Beach and they sell their home and they typically, when they sell their home and they're in upstate, um, you know, they're going to typically net quite a bit. Um, is it good? Is it a good idea to put all of your money into that next property or is it better to just only put down a certain percentage and save the rest for, you know, slush fund, hanging out at the pool with the friends and, you know, having some other money to reinvest elsewhere? What do you recommend? So once again, you make me look like the uh, politician here. I just need to get my hand things down. And now, um, again, it truly depends. It's a very personal decision that's going to come down to each individual. Um, you know, it depends on where you want to keep your monthly payment. That's what it boils down to. So for me, I love thinking of my job as a, more of a uh, an advisor, right? I'm sitting here showing you the options. I'm not going to tell you, hey, this is the mortgage you're going to do. It's going to be, well, here's here's an option where you put 10% down. Here's, a, here's what your monthly payment looks like with 15% down. Here's one with 20% down or less, right? Um, or more. And 
and then we just weigh the pros and cons of each, right? How much does it really change your monthly payment putting, you know, 15% down instead of 20%? Like, does it lower your monthly payment that much? Mm -hmm. Depends. Um, and is that worth it to you then to keep that money liquid and in a savings account or in an investment where you can easily access it or something like that in case something happens to the to you your home your vehicle or or a family member or something like that right um me personally um i'm very much pro uh liquid <laughs> right like <laughs> right i want to have a little i want to have a little bit of extra cushion from time i like to have that cushion that that money in the in the bank in case like i said you know because you know the the saying's a saying for a reason right when it rains it pours you know it's like um you know heaven forbid the you your car breaks down and next thing you know the dishwasher's busted and oh cool now now i've got a hole in the roof too perfect right you, know, we, yeah. you don't want to unless you're at the unless you're at the condo you know you can get that well, yeah. more then yeah that's you, right i'd be uh, up a creek without a paddle you know that's right so you don't want to have you know it's nice to be able to have that stuff to fall back on if need be, right? Yeah. Um, and Chris, I just wanted to real quick, just show our uh, viewers here today. So Chris actually has a super informative guide, which is a part of the, you guessed it, the relocation guide, um, which goes over very quick references and quick numbers. So, uh, and Chris's uh, information is down below. So if you're looking for something uh, and you want to get a little bit more specific, uh, definitely give him a call. His information will be down below. Um, but yeah, this gives you your, your cost to close. This gives you an idea on approximate taxes as of 2023, as well as, uh, you know, the different type of estimated monthly payments you can expect. So I uh, just wanted to mention that as well. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Well, Chris, as we, uh, thanks again for your time. We We are coming to the end of our conversation today. And I just wanted to make sure I'm looking at my notes here and not missing anything because you've been of tremendous value. If you're getting value from this right now, um, and, and this is just really something that that's resonating with you, uh, and you feel like it would benefit somebody else, I would recommend you please, uh, you know, feel free to go ahead and share this video and you know, smash the like button. That always helps too. Uh, and go ahead and share this video with somebody who may be just thinking about the idea of moving to the Virginia Beach area. And we would love to, you know, share them, uh, share with them the relocation guide, as well as this video as well. So uh, yeah, with that said, uh, my name is Joe. I am a licensed realtor here in Virginia Beach. And we of course have the Discover Virginia Beach Facebook group that meets uh, almost every day talking about how we discover the Virginia Beach area. And uh, I actually have one last guide I wanted to mention. So for all of your friends who are like thinking about uh, moving or considering vacationing in the Virginia Beach area, I yet again have another cool guide for you to check out. Um, Chris, I don't, have you gotten a copy of the vibe guide yet? I don't think so, no. Okay, I'll be sure to send this over. I'm excited. This is one of my favorite guides because um, this is gonna give you ideas on when you're either house shopping or just trying to figure out what to do when you're in the area. And this is it right here. It's just basically breaks down the main types of tourists that I've seen in the area and what they typically like to do. Uh, for example, my, my wife is very low key. So I'll reference the low key tourist in the middle. So, oh, there we go, running out of time. <laughs> so as we wrap up here, um, low key tourists, they're gonna definitely Go get some local coffee from Roast Rider. They're going to go check out the Baja restaurant near Sandbridge because that's been there uh, since the late 80s and is a, definitely a staple of the community. They're going to want to check out Sandbridge Sugar Shack and they're going to enjoy things like the Back Bay Wildlife Refugee. So those are um, all the guides that you can get by commenting relocation. Uh, Chris, thanks for being here. Any other thoughts uh, or questions that you'd like to share uh, before we end our conversation today? No, I just want to say thanks for, 
you know, inviting me on here. It was a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully, I didn't blind you too much with my uh, the light reflecting off the old, old not. Head. Just just uh, with your smile, Chris. Just with your smile. Oh, we appreciate yeah. you there being a resource to us and, and to the community here. Uh, if you know anybody looking to discover Virginia Beach, invite them to the group. Like this video. Be sure to share it. Um, that's a long list. Just hit the like button. We're super glad you're here. We're super excited for you to be considering just the idea of buying a home in Virginia Beach area, at the very least planning your next trip. Uh, we hope to see you again in another video. Until next time, we'll see you later. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. so much, Chris.